Today we're going to have a look at what I think is a very interesting pen because I didn't even know this was made and I think this solves a couple of issues that people may have with its smaller brother. I'm talking about the Platinum President. I just borrowed this from my main man Aaron um, and this is interesting. Now I have reviewed a lot of Platinum pens and one very popular Platinum model is the 3776. Popular because it's one of the pens you can get with a music nib and all that, but it's a pretty small and a fairly thin pen. The Platinum President is interesting. I don't have 3776 at hand. I'm sorry, I, I can't show you the, uh, the, the, the pen side by side, but this pen is quite a bit bigger. I've got the feeling it's definitely longer and for sure it's girthier. And that's interesting for people who like a slightly bigger pen. It's not a whole lot heavier though. All of these pens are very, very light. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do writing some. So let's start on top of the pen. The very top finial is actually nothing. This is a burgundy version. There also is a, that's just a black, and that's kind of quite a couple of versions out there. Uh, the standard platinum clip, then you have a center band, uh, which you can see there. Uh, the center band says President right below the clip and then Platinum and Japan around the band. Barrel, simple shape, gold ring, doesn't do anything, it's not a piston filler so it's just there for cosmetic purposes. The cap unscrews and as you can see very easily, so of course then it didn't work but you can uncap it, uncap it very quickly. Uh, the pen does post, and as you can see, it's definitely a more substantial pen. If you ever held a 3776, those are fairly small and, and pretty thin pens, um, but these pens are, are definitely um, a bit bigger. Section, simple, tapers down, flares out a little bit, gold ring, gold ring, or at least gold colored ring, right? And they have the nib. Uh, this nib is marked with President. It's an 18 karat gold nib, medium and it says platinum. As far as I know, all the 3776 pens have 14 karat nibs, so an 18 karat nib, that's nice uh, if you enjoy such a thing. Uh, it does have a bit of line variation, simple standard plastic feed, and as I said, this pen is cartridge converter filled, so you need the um, uh, platinum cartridges or platinum converter because those are proprietary in format. Final thing I wanted to show you as I cap it is that the clip is very nice, not too tight, not too loose. I like the, the uh, sturdiness and the, the springiness it has. And it works very well. Okay, what do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? I like a lot about it. Uh, it's a bit bigger, it's a bit girthier, as I said, which to me makes for a very nice pen size. Without being an absurd oversized pen, it's definitely very comfortable to use if you have larger hands and that really was one of the issues for me with the 3776. It's very small, it's pretty thin and for me it's not very comfortable to use. And even though this pen is not much heavier, the length and the girth does help. Uh, I like the overall shape of the pen. It's simple, very classic design. Uh, you can interchange this a little bit, I would say, with the other Japanese competitor. Here's a Sailor 1911 side by side with the Platinum President. And just as the 1911 has a large version like this and a standard version, I think you could say there is a 3776 standard and then the President as a large pen. The nib writes well. Uh, this is a medium nib. I would say that, as is often the case, it writes like a Western fine for a Japanese medium. It's definitely a fine nib. There is a little bit of springiness to it. It's not a very soft nib, but you definitely get a little bit of line variation out of it if you squeeze it a little bit. I think it's a pretty nice all-round pen. Now, what I find particularly interesting is that if you have a good look on eBay, you can find these pens for something like $165, $170, and they go up $200, $300, etc. It depends a little bit on the version, the, the finish you get. But in all, I don't think that is particularly bad for an 18 karat gold nib uh, cartridge converter pen. I do not have a link, I do not have vendors, I did not buy this pen, I just did a casual look, search on eBay, and that's what I found. So it can be affordable, it can get a little bit more expensive, but given what you get, a well-made pen, well-rounded, well-made, uh, good size, 18 karat gold nib, 
I don't think this is particularly bad. Now, as I borrowed this pen, I can't show you the box, but it's, I assume it's a standard platinum box, uh, which would be functional and uh, nice. Okay, we need to see how the pen writes. That's what's coming up next. Measurements of the pen, as well as high resolution pictures, will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. Aaron, thanks a lot for uh, lending me the pen. I'm sorry for keeping it for such a long time. People, you should see the, the stacks of pens here that need reviewing. It, it takes a while, I'm sorry. So, there you have it. Hope this is useful so far. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Platinum President with a medium nib, that kind of writes like a fine, and Schaefer Scrip Red. Oops, sorry. Scrip Red. The paper is uh, Rhodia. I'll do some normal writing. Writes with a bit of feedback, but it, 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 it's not a scratchy nib. F very fast writing. No real skipping that I can discern, so it's good, good ink flow. Wetness. It's not a super wet writer as you can see here, but that's kind of part of the, the fineness of the nib, I suppose. Line variation, as I said before, it's I would definitely not call that a flex nib or even a semi-flex nib, but it does allow for a bit of line variation, which is nice. Uh, reverse writing, it's already a fine nib, so I'm not really sure if anyone will really want to do that, but you can turn it over and make it even finer. And that's uh, pretty much all there's to it. So, oops, Aaron, there's only two A's in your name. Uh, thanks for lending me the pen, I appreciate it. Guys, hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.